Hi, Hi. welcome back to AIDS Modeling Page. Uh, here's a little job I did uh, about a year ago. Uh, it's the Hobby Boss uh, Wolf Defender Wimic. As uh, used in Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, it's got the Black Dog upgrade set, uh, which is very, very good. Expensive, but it's well worth it. Uh, I opted for the ones with the, cr with the crew. Uh, it's all resin uh, on those parts. So, and then it has the replacement wheels, tyres, and uh, all this extra stowage and goodies. It uh, took me about four four months to build, and uh, yeah, it's been in the stash for quite a while. The actual Land Rover, but I was just waiting to find the uh, right place to get the uh, uh, upgrade set because there was a lot of items which were wrong with the main kit. One is the seats; uh, they're the wrong type, and also the wheels. And tires, which um, are more detailed with the resin version. The actual uh, adjustment on the seats is only on the commander, not the driver. So you have to omit that option. The brackets for the uh, SA80s was wrong as well because they don't face forward; they face upwards. The crew. Uh, uh, in the DPM camouflage desert version, which has now been replaced, uh, and then it's got loads of storage in the back. The only thing that didn't come with it, the actual kit and the uh, extras is the uh, decals for the ammunition tins and things like that, which would have been very nice. And I think only uh, accurate armour do them, so. But uh, you have to buy their stuff to actually get the decals. I might be wrong now, but they might have changed it. But uh, that was it. So, those of you who might not have seen this before or might recognise it somewhere, it, uh, it's been in the magazine recent, well, about um, eight, nine months ago. But uh, no, I was chuffed with it. It goes together very easily. No instructions with the black dog kit, but it. Uh, it's self-explanatory to be honest but uh, there you go that's the uh, Land Rover Wolf we did so hot on its heels one day will be the uh, the warrior and while here have a quick look at the stash let's come back a bit as you can see it's a mixed bag of Different kits. And that's a lot of German stuff in there. I mean, it just appeals to me, but also like British stuff and uh, the unusual American stuff as well. And of course, some of the airfix one in 48 scale. The Warrior, let's say, is, uh, I've got the thrill tracks for that, the metal barrel by RB, and just waiting for the uh, uh, add on PE set. The Panther G, I've got uh, thrill tracks for that, metal barrel, ammunition, PE set, and uh, the Tiger one, yeah, again, thrills, barrel, and I've got the ATAC resin set for that, and the Voyager add-ons. That's the one mixed bag, the uh, cream one. I've got that from, kind of given to me from, by Jim. It's yet undecided on that. The M108 which will be uh, the project I've got to do for the magazine. National and drum bar again, frills and that's about it on those. Panther D will be done just as it is. This little baby here. The two centimetre gun. Lovely kit, got loads of goodies in that one. British Challenger, I'm a bit disappointed with this kit, uh, so it's a shame. Again, another one which uh, kind of given donated by Jim, which I've got to 
I've started it, but it just didn't fit together all that well, so we'll see how we go. This little beauty is a gem, which I'm going to save for a rainy day. And then look there, nice little bargain, £25, British Firefly, with a yatted barrel, which came free, courtesy of the uh, kit company, Kits Kits. Then, latest acquisition, the Bronco Jeep. Ah, oh, the LTP-TP5, got the uh, Hobby Fan Crew and Sandbags to go on that. I do like these little eight wheel vehicles. It's the SDKF set 234 stroke 4. Heavy stash would have a gun to go. Nice little simple kit, one for a rainy day. With a Jack Panther hand defensor, it's the EAT. That's going to be a little build off of me and Jim and maybe some others later on. And this is a beauty of a kit. Leningrad Panther, a tiger, sorry. <laughs> this walk of all done, I'm going to do the South Vietnamese Army version. And this is awesome. This will probably go on my head when I decide to build that, so it's going to be too big build, but we'll see. Yeah, another tiger. This from mid production. This has got the Edward uh, Etch Zimmerit, the Voyager PE set, and Pearls. And a metal barrel. And another chaffee. Well, this one's going to be another DMB and uh, tank, which will be uh, Conti, which was the main uh, commander's tank for uh, the Battle of DMB and Foon. And then down there, an M3A2 half track, which I might mod again to another Indo China type vehicle. Maybe propelling a by pulling along at 105, I can modify that to make it sort of like old rather than this newer version. And then these, well, we'll see when I get the uh, other bits. When I'll do, what I'll do with that. I still want to get the Air Warrior and crew and that. So that's it for now. Well, I uh, hope you like the stash. It's uh, gradually building on me. I say I've still got the I've got the the M one oh seven one oh seven oh het uh which is up on the other shelf but it's too big to mount on here. So uh I'll uh, catch up with you soon. Thanks for watching, I'll see you later. Take care, bye.